Oh my god, there's, there's someone in this building. There's someone in this building. Oh, get your gun out, you dickhead. What are you doing? What's the what's the binding? What is it? Why is it on the bottom of the screen? Oh, don't die. Don't die. Okay, okay, get your gun out. Oh, he's dead. Has he got friends? I don't think so. I'm going to shoot the zombie. Oh, God, that was terrifying. I just logged on the server. Let's kill the zombie. Get out of it. Oh, okay, yeah, the zombie's really buggy in this uh, new release. Okay, it's dead. Whew. That, <laughs> that was terrifying. Oh, my God. I just logged onto the server, and as soon as I logged in, I had to quickly press record because I, I heard footsteps. Like, what are the odds of that? Someone being in the building with me. Oh, man, that was stressful. <laughs> okay. What's this guy got on him? Our knuckle dusters. I wonder if that's still one punch knockout. I guess we can test that at some point. Got some food. Whew. That got the heart racing straight away. That was unexpected. Yeah, all, all the years I've played Armour and DayZ, I don't think I've ever logged in and been in the same building as someone. That's pretty mad. And I am miles up north as well in the middle of nowhere. I logged out specifically in this building because I thought oh, no, one, no one will be in this building when I log back in. It's like just randomly in a field on its own. Unlucky for that guy though. Well, it's actually lucky because lucky he didn't have he uh, didn't have a gun. Cause I think he definitely would have killed me if he had a gun there. But that's okay. <laughs> we won. It doesn't matter. Good start to the video though. <laughs> nice kill already. But yeah, he hasn't got much stuff. He's just got some crap on him like matches. I mean, we've got matches already. Uh, we can take the flashlight, I guess. Sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's got nothing else. Oh. Zombie got anything? Nope. Well, I guess I'll set this up so I actually know now. Primary first, secondary second. Oh, man. Ooh, tiring. <laughs> That's stressful. Okay. Um. Also, I wanted to... We'll, we'll head out west now. We'll go west. <clears throat> go west. Yeah, we'll start heading west towards that big town. It should be somewhere over here. So I'm, I can't remember where exactly, but it should be this way. But yeah, I wanted to actually talk about um, the first video because I've just uploaded it as I uh, as I'm recording this, and I was pretty scared because you know, I've not uploaded in nine months, so I'm a little bit rusty. Um, but yeah, the the FPS issue that I had in part one has been fixed. That was hot fixed pretty much after I finished recording. It was the the update that caused the FPS to be really low. So I've upped the graphics settings a bit. And, um, yeah, I'm getting a solid 60 FPS right now. I've got it set max 60, so I'm getting a solid 60 FPS all the time, which is great. Um, I also realised, after editing the video and uploading it, that I didn't really talk much about my thoughts on DayZ and this new uh, 1.0 release. Now, some people are, I think, a bit confused with the releasing, because I've been calling it the beta release, and it technically is still in beta, because it's not the full game. The full game hasn't been released. Sure, you can say it's 1.0. Like Daisy can label it what they want. Technically, this is still the beta because you have two versions of Daisy. You have the Daisy Stable, which is like their front page of Daisy, which is what is meant to be a stable version of the game, and then you have the experimental version of the game. Now, a lot of people have been playing experimental recently, like myself, um, in the last update in the 0.63. I think it was the last one. Whatever the last update was before this one. That was experimental. That experimental was data uh, was the beta. So yes, beta has been out for a long time, but that ex that was only an experimental. It, it was buggy. Nothing worked. There's no hit register in most cases. No gun sounds. Like it was just it's just a mess. But people play on experimental and are like, that's not the actual game. So what they've done that experimental that has been out for months or like ages. They've basically polished it, fixed the bug, and they've put it into stable and labelled it a 1.0 release. So technically, it's just the beta experimental put into a 1.0 release. They've added like a couple of new things, like apparently there's night vision goggles and stuff in the game now. But I wouldn't, I would not call this a full release at all. It's still definitely in a beta stage. 1.0 sure should mean one uh, should mean full release, but this isn't full release. It's still. Some basic mechanics of the game don't work. Like you saw me shoot a zombie square in the back. The zombies are very buggy. At the, at the end of the last video, I did shoot a zombie. 
and it didn't register on that either. This is a stable. This is a stable. Um, this is a stable server, so it should be the their best version of the current game. So yeah, I would not call this a full release at all because there's still not planes. There's still there's still not helicopters. There's still so many game mechanics that aren't in this that are actually in the alpha, which they should eventually reintegrate back into the stable. But yeah, just to clarify, I would not call this a full release. People have been referring to it, but if you go on Google and, and type in Daisy Beta, or go on YouTube, sorry, and type in Daisy Beta, loads of YouTubers are pretty much saying the same thing. Um, I, I watched Cy Syndicate's video, it's just come out. Um, I watched that, and he's just referring to it as a beta. There's a bunch of, not Cy Syndicate, sorry, Cy Sin now. <laughs> um, yeah, he uh, he referred to it as a beta. I've watched a couple of other Daisy streamers, who uh, Daisy YouTubers, who have uploaded videos on on this 1.0 release and they've all referred to it as the beta because technically that's all it is they just moved the beta experimental onto the stable branch and polished up the bugs so yeah you can call it a full release sure but i i personally wouldn't it's to me it's still definitely in the beta stage um but yeah either way it doesn't matter the game's been in development for five fucking years <laughs> come on it doesn't matter at all Either way, I'm not trying to defend the developers of this game. I'm still genuinely pissed off, like most people are. It, it, five years of sitting around waiting for a game that I've wanted so badly for all that time. It's fucking edge, edge of the map here. <laughs> I just realised I run up to the edge of the map. Uh, okay, well we've definitely gone too far north. Let's head south a bit. <laughs> I want to get to that big town, the big town hall. It should be just south of here. But yeah, we'll, we'll try and get there. So yeah, that, that's my thoughts on the, on Daisy. Um, like I say, there's still a lot more I think that needs to come out of this, um, and I think there will be a lot more that will come out of this with the added modding and stuff. I think once the mods get hold of, like, start making new maps, they can make vehicles, they can all these custom servers that will become available, custom weapons, custom uh, clothing. It's going to be great. I can see it being a great thing with the with the mod um, capability on it. Uh, you've also got base building now, which again, at the minute, is very long and tedious. It's not worth doing the base building. I think it's probably best to wait until the mod... I think I said this in the first part. I think it's probably best to wait until the modders get hold of the base building and make it more easier to do because it's just such a long, tedious task, especially as I play on my own a lot because I have no friends. I really can't be bothered to go and cut down a million trees just to make a door. But um, yeah, I would like to at some point get into the daisy... Uh, b uh, base building, but yeah, I think we'll wait until it gets to uh, gets into the modder's hands for that. But yeah, that, that's my thoughts on the game. Um, like I said, I'm still pissed off as much as most people with this game. I, I want it to be a success. A, a open world zombie survival game is literally my dream game. <laughs> this is the game that I've always wanted to play my entire life. And at the minute, I can't name a, a game that's probably better than DayZ. Like, you could say scum, but I I don't I think scum's like not brilliant. It's okay, but I don't like the robots. I don't generally like the idea of this like game show prisoner thing. I, I don't like it. Um, but yeah, I I do think Daisy will get there. I mean, I, having looks, I, I invested in I say invested. I bought um, Identity on Kickstarter back in 2014, and that game, oh. It took four years to make four houses with, like, you know, on a town square. If you want to get, comp <laughs> if you think the Daisy devs are bad, look at the Identity devs. It's it's insane. So I don't know if that's changed my opinion after seeing how bad Identity was after release. I don't know if that's changed my opinion on the game, on, on a, the Daisy devs. But if you go back and look at the um, original, I uploaded a video on this the day after it was first released in 2013. And you look at the difference from then to now, it has made a lot of progress. Sure, they've gone back on a few things, but I do think it will get there. I have hope. I, I, they're, they're still doing the game, they have the money. You know, I do think it will get there. I think we just have to be more patient. And I know that's annoying, I know a lot of people are angry about it, including myself. But I think it will get there. But anyway... That's the longest ramble I've ever had at the start of a video. I just wanted to get that all out there. That that should have been, this should have been in the first video, me just talking over me running around doing nothing. But um <laughs> yeah, let's let's get into the video. Oh, I found it. This is the town I've been looking for. It was just south where I was. I must have gone out the wrong road at some point, went further north. 
yeah, this is the town. So we've got the industrial part down here. And then we should have the town hall over to the right somewhere, behind the rocks. I don't see any movement. Which is good, I guess. Um, in the last part, you may have noticed that I was shit at melee. <laughs> it's because um, I kind of just forgot about the like infinite block bug that was in the experimental in the previous up in the previous patch. Um, so let's just have a little practice. So you, what you, you walk back, you hold right click and walk backwards. They, it does a block. And before you used to have to do that and then just uh, left click as well at the same time, and you'd technically be blocking while you was punching. So you was event, you're essentially invincible. Um, I haven't tested that. If that still is a thing, I don't think it is. I doubt it is. It shouldn't be. <laughs> um, but yeah, but yeah, you can still block, which I should have done in the last video. But yeah, now I know. And I got knuckle dusters, so we need to test that as well now to see if we can get a one shot. Knock out on someone if that's still a thing because I don't know. Okay, so I made it to the town hall. I'm just going up each floor. I haven't heard any footsteps or anything, but you never know. There could just be some guy up here camping it. Oh, can you go out this door? Oh, that's a shame. You, get on the, you should be able to go on that roof, do some parkour. It doesn't. Oh, don't tell me there's no loot up here. I swear there used to be. This is this is probably my favourite building in Daisy. Like, I love this building, it's very cool. Um, I just wish that they had loot, and I swear it used to. I swear I used to be able to find like pickaxes, and f I found like a fireman helmet in here at some point. I swear I have. But, yeah, I don't know why there's no loot in here. Maybe it's just unlucky, maybe it's server based, or maybe it's just the game. Who knows? Um, yeah. Oh, look, it's the tannoy thing. I really want to hear someone use that. I did have that truck battery, I threw it away, I don't know if that would have worked, it probably would have, but either way, I'd rather hear, I want to hear someone use it rather than me use it myself, even though someone's probably just going to spam the n-word through it, like I've seen a lot happen with streamers and stuff, but either way, it'd be pretty cool. Oh, look at this view, that's a thumbnail right there, if I've ever seen one. <laughs> wow, screenshot. I usually just uh, take... Uh, a screenshot of the video, but I'll take a screenshot. That's a, that's a steam worthy screenshot there as well. Very nice. Okay, yeah, there's, there's no loot in this entire thing, so I had to walk all the way back down again. Like, oh, god damn it. Uh oh, dead body. Let's check this building, make sure it's clear. Okay, it seems clear. There's a dead man in the street. Okay, it's got some... My my infantry is a mess. I'm going to have to stand here and sort this out. Like, I want those binoculars, but look, I've got no room. I did degrade my backpack because the... There's so many, the slots are so much bigger now for clothes. I didn't think I'd need such a big backpack, but I mean, it turns out I might do. I, I thought I would have had a vest by now or something. If I had a vest, that would be even better. I'm going to just stand here in the open and try and swell my goddamn infantry. Okay. I've got the binoculars. I've got some more mags for my pistol, some more ammo. Um, I'll pick up some more buck shots as well. So I, I think we'll just have to try and find somewhere. Has he got any clothes on him that I could take? Nothing now I need or want. I could take his hat. Hmm. Now what? Let's go. Let's go and find this this building over here, the piano building. There you go. So we've got ammo now for our shotgun. We've got a full mag and a mag and a half, I guess, or less than half. A mag and a quarter. For our pistol, um, I've got to drop these rangefinders. We've got binoculars now, so that's pretty good. Yeah, there we go. If we sort our infantry out a bit more now, it's a little bit neater. So not amazing, but we'll put our knuckle dusters back down. And yeah, we're we're in a good position at the minute. I like it.
I might have to go and get that hat though off that dead guy because I kind of want that boonie hat. Let's uh, test out these binoculars that I got. I want to see. I think I've used them before. I can't remember if I have. I'm just see how powerful they are. Oh, pretty powerful. <laughs> I can see quite far. So that'd be pretty good then. Like if you're overlooking the airfield or something, they'll be they'll probably come quite um, come in handy. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I approve. Oh, hello. A car battery. It's yellow. What does that mean? Does that mean it's got some power in it? Or does that mean it's dead? Ah, oh, we can go back to the town hall and use the the PA system if it works. Like, I don't know. I don't know if that's got power in it. It's yellow. I don't know what that means. Um, oh, There is a charger there, but... Oh, no, it's not a padlock. Sorry, it looked like a charger. Okay, well, I guess we're going to go back to the town hall. Okay, there's no one here by the looks of it. I just want to see if there's anyone in the town, because it would be really funny if someone's in the town and they, I start using the PA system and then they start running towards me. But I don't think it's going to work. I don't know how the battery thing is. Let's just try it. Put the battery in. Turn on. It still says turn on. I know this used to be bugs, but I don't know if it still is. I guess we'll just try it. Ho ho ho! Hello there, me old chum. I'm not a gun elf. I'm not a gnoblin. I'm a gnome. And you've been gnomed. Did it work? <laughs> uh, I think I'm just talking to myself at this point. I'm just some crazy guy in a town hall gnoming himself. Ah, oh, fuck it. I don't, I don't know what that yellow thing means. I don't know how it works. I've never used it before. I'll leave it there in case someone else knows how to use it and they come up and give it a go. Like it doesn't it doesn't say I press and turn on but nothing seems to happen. So there used to be bugs where you used to press it once and it'd work. If you press turn on again it would bug. So I don't know. Maybe that works, maybe it didn't. But I think we should get out of here now, because in case it did work, we've just notified everyone in this town where we are, so we'll get out of here, leave that there and hopefully someone else uses it. The ambient sound in the woods are pretty cool. Hearing the birds and stuff. It looks like it's starting to get foggy again, I've noticed, around me. It's finally cleared up and it's starting to get foggy like, again. It's kind of annoying. But yeah, we're heading west because we're going to go towards the military base up north. Oh, there's a big backpack. Should I upgrade again? I keep complaining about space. <laughs> I downgraded to a sort of backpack, but I don't like these big backpacks. Fuck it. I mean, can I repair it at least? I think I need duct tape. I don't think the sewing kit works. Just double check though, because otherwise I'll get 100 comments of people calling me an idiot. Okay, yeah, I think I need duct tape for that. I think sewing kit's just for clothes. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to go back to the bigger backpack because oh, we kind of need it. We keep running out of space, so we definitely should upgrade. So my video has been up now for a few hours, and someone made a comment on the first video saying that the uh, apple trees now drop apples around on the floor. So this, I just found all these apple trees here. I want to see if I can find one on the floor, maybe. I don't know if you need to do something to the tree, like maybe cut it down or hit it with an axe or punch it like Minecraft. I don't know whether I need to press tab and find it on the floor somehow, if I need to press F on it. I don't seem to see anything on the floor. I've put my gun away. Can I pick anything up? No. Yeah, fuck it. It doesn't matter anyway. I've got tons of food. I don't need apples. Okay, so I think I'm going to wrap this video up. 
It's a, uh, it's a bit of a mess. This video. If I it started off with a kill, which I guess is good. At least we got a kill in this video. Um, then I rambled on for like ten minutes about Daisy. But uh, yeah, apart from that, we get we're getting there. I want to keep going west because I know there's you got Tishy. I think it's called Tissy, whatever the fuck it's called, on the like northwest of the map. There's also a military base like just to the west of this town I'm in. I can't remember the name of the town. I want to name this episode the name of the town. I'll have to Google it. But I'm pretty sure there's a military base just like right up north. Like in the centre of the map. So we'll go to there next, I think. And then, because we need some military gear. We need a vest. We can do some more trousers. We've still got the default trousers on. Um, yeah, I want to get I want to get some military gear. Military backpack, helmets, all that stuff. So we're going to start heading up to the military spawns. And hopefully we can gear up. And start getting some kills as well. Considering how full this server is, I do queue to get on this server every time I want it now. And, uh... Yeah, well, we've seen that. I logged in and there's a guy that ran a building in the middle of nowhere. We've seen a dead body, but there's got to be more people somewhere. We've got to find them to kill them. We've got ammo now. We need to use it. But, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next part. Goodbye.